Welcome to this presentation of five myths of virtualization management. We will uncover five myths of virtualization management and replace them with five truths of virtualization management. The first myth is that virtualization makes monitoring easier because there are fewer servers to monitor. While virtualization does reduce the number of physical servers, this does not necessarily simplify monitoring. The truth is virtualization makes monitoring more complex. Even though virtualization reduces the number of physical servers, the number of VMs, operating systems, and applications running inside the VMs remain the same. So the total number of components to manage is not significantly reduced. Furthermore, virtualization adds a whole new set of components and functions that need to be managed. These include hypervisors, service consoles, vSwitches, vMotion, resource pools, clusters, and so on. A failure of any of these components can impact the performance of the virtualization platform and the applications it supports. Therefore, all of these components and functions need to be managed. The second myth is that resource reservation can be used to ensure that one VM never interferes with the performance of another. The truth is, resource reservation is not always possible, nor is it efficient. First, not every resource can be reserved statically. CPU and memory can, but disk and network bandwidth cannot. Secondly, static reservation of resources results in underutilization of those resources. So, for example, statically reserving CPU and memory for a VM prevents all other VMs from using those resources, even if they are idle. As shown in this figure, unexpected load to the media server is impacting the Oracle database server. Without the right monitoring tools, you would be at a loss for isolating this type of resource contention. The third myth is that virtualization is a software tier that can be monitored as a silo independent of other software or hardware supporting the business services. The truth is, virtualization monitoring must be integrated into business service monitoring to be effective. As shown in these figures, a virtualization layer issue can impact the performance of an application and its related end-to-end -end business services. But silo-based monitoring solutions cannot reveal these dependencies. You need to monitor all infrastructure components, physical and virtual, and correlate the data to ensure that service levels are maintained. The fourth myth is that virtualization platforms include all the tools and metrics needed to ensure that the platform is well-tuned and operating as expected. The truth is, virtualization platform metrics show only the outside view of each VM. The outside view does not reveal why a VM is taking excessive resources. Rather, an inside view of each VM is needed to troubleshoot VM performance problems. In this example, CPU has spiked on a virtual desktop because the user was running Windows Media Player. Without an inside view into each VM, you would be at a loss for why CPU was high on one desktop but not another. The fifth myth is that tools for monitoring virtual servers are sufficient for monitoring VDI. After all, virtual desktops are just VMs. The truth is, VDI monitoring is quite different than virtual server monitoring. First, the workload of a virtual desktop is dynamic and depends on the user who is logged into that desktop. Therefore, VDI monitoring needs to be based on user activity, not VM activity. Second, the virtualization platform is only one of the tiers in a VDI. End-to-end -end VDI monitoring requires monitoring all of the components supporting the VDI, including connection brokers, terminal servers, profile servers, license servers, and so on. And finally, while agent-based monitoring is reasonable for virtualized servers, an agentless method is more practical for seeing inside thousands of dynamically provisioned desktops. So if you're deploying VDI, don't try to use an existing virtual server monitoring solution as is. Rather, look for a monitoring solution that is specialized to handle the unique characteristics of VDI. In summary, we have identified five truths of virtualization management. 
One, virtualization makes monitoring more complex than before. Two, VMs can interfere with each other if the infrastructure is not carefully planned and monitored. Three, virtualization must be monitored in the context of the business services it supports in order to be effective. Four, management tools included with virtualization platforms must be complemented with tools that look inside the VMs to understand why resources are being used. And finally, VDI monitoring is more complex than virtual server monitoring and has its specialized requirements that must be addressed. For more information on ways to best monitor your virtualized infrastructure, please visit us on the web at www.eginnovations.com or email us at info at eginnovations.com.